let's take a closer look at a cover line. A cover line is that horizontal line that runs through your cycle chart and divides your lower temperature values from your higher. Think of this line as a ruler. It's simply a tool to help you more easily visualize your temperature values and then apply a set of calculation rules to those temperatures to see if your temperature shift or your temperature rise validates ovulation has happened. We're going to use one set of calculation rules to demonstrate how to use a cover line. As you log your temperatures every day, you're watching and waiting for at least three days of temperatures that are all higher than the previous six before them. Once you see you've got three days on your chart that all look to be higher than the previous six, you can now set your line, your cover line, through the highest of those previous six temperatures. Now, take a look at the third temperature above that line. Does it reach at least 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.2 degrees Celsius above that line? Well, that's a valid temperature shift. But what if it doesn't reach that value? What if this third temperature isn't high enough? Well, that's okay. Leave your cover line where it is and then wait for a fourth temperature. If the fourth temperature is above the line, it doesn't matter what value it reaches, it just needs to be above the line, this is also a valid temperature shift. This is an exception rule known as a slow rise temperature shift. Another exception rule is if the second or third day drops to or below the cover line as shown here. Now again, you would need to wait for a fourth day. If the fourth temperature reaches that value of at least 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.2 degrees Celsius above the line, it's still a valid temperature shift. This is known as a fallback temperature rise. So that's how to use a, a cover line. It's simply this calculation tool or a visual aid that you can use to help calculate if your temperature rise is valid to help you confirm ovulation.